rather than release the official part four of this series, which will be about Core 7 and the Spirals, which is, again, the keystone to a cornerstone uh, in the whole lost ancient high technology argument, um, I'm waiting on very imminent release of some very, very, very important information regarding Core 7, so I'll do a preliminary and I'm going to make actually some more samples to look into this further, but part one, again, though tapering, you know, anything but a signature of lost high technology actual you know, proof uh, that it was done by hand and more pr and proof also of some uh, nefarious activities in regards to the promotion of this particular idea. Uh, part two was deep grooves and case closed. Uh, this can be done with that same primitive technique. So tapering and deep grooves can be done by materials and tools um, shown, depicted and known to exist in the archaeological record and the argument of the polish versus the sanded finish which was a, a, a cringe fest in regards to the alleged expertise by um, or uh, I don't even I don't believe I made a mistake I think it's actually de quite deliberate uh, in that sense because it is such a so noobish a mistake that it's just impossible for me to believe a uh, experienced aeronautic um, so I'm working in sorry not aeronautic in aerospace could make such a cringy uh, mistake and not be picked up by the other uh, people in the uh, advanced field such as again aeronautics for instance working with Rolls-Royce uh, engines so that's a bit of a cringe fest but um, so just a prelim um, I'll wait for the release of that video and I also want to make some samples just to just be absolutely clear in regards to this. So Core 7, um, rather than quote people directly, I'm just going to, I'm now just speaking of the broader community. So the, not just what's published on papers, um, sorry, on websites and on videos, but what you'll see in the, in the comment sections, for instance. And this, you know, Core 7, that it's a helix or a helical spiral, that it's a We'll show examples of that, and that it was drilled at a constant feed rate with a fixed point drill. Well, that fixed point argument again was addressed in addressed in the deep grooves uh, part two of this sort of series as well. So that's gone. But uh, a spiral staircase, well, it's a spiral really is on two D, or a better term would be a helix. So this type of staircase is a helix. Other example would be the famous double helix of DNA, two spot, double helix, two hel helical spirals uh, winding around. Classic example of a, of a helix would be a screw or a bolt, just the, the threading, um, so there's just an illustration of it, or a, a spring would be another example of a helix, and with constant dimensions as well, so when they say feed rate, We'll get into that more in depth because it is a bit of a, it's, it's a very, it's another cringe fest, but like you get these, you know, I'm a machinist, you're, you know, you, your samples that you did, oh, no, nah, no, nah, it's false, you're false, you're a goofball and all these types of things. Have you ever been a machinist such as myself? Well, again, <laughs> that machinist wouldn't pick up these, the 80 grit, not polishing, for instance. Well, I, I but feed lines, and it's a feed line or a feed rate, and, uh, constant feed rate, continuous feed line, well, this is just not the, the, the case in regards to this. So the description by Petri, uh, which is featured in, I'll link the Christopher Dunn Lost High Technology page um, in regards to that, we'll go in more in depth. He's quoting Petri's um, description, Matthew Willem, famous Egyptologist, famous, again, there are other famous Egyptologists such as Alfred Lucas, which are very curiously missing from, you know, it's promote small parts of what Petri says because it matches what we want to point out but Petri also had no problem with the chisels and, and those types of tools that they were using as well which is curiously again sort of missing so when when it matches what I want to hear he's the great Matthew Flinders Petri that's the way they'll just the great Matthew Flinders Petri he was more of an engineer than he was a archaeologist and he was very very technical and so forth um, but again it's well then, why uh, he did not promote all, all the other elements of lost ancient high technology, the cornerstones are rely upon. He did not, pro you know, he did not believe in those at all. And again, it's you know, it's high, it's 
cherry picking to extreme levels because when it matches, yep, he's the for great Matthew Flinders Petrie, but shh, shh don't ever don't, don't don't talk about that. No, no, no. Let's not shh, 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 Jesus. So that's the sort of the that's the state of affairs that goes with there. But core seven um well let's just look at so these are the actual pictures of uh Chris Dunn, went to the Petrie Museum and as uh Pet Petri described, he could wrap a thread four times around. Now that's an important point we'll show because he actually couldn't wrap a thread uh, a thread four times around in the sense that it's it's described and used and promoted in there. It's a little bit more intricate um than that. Again, there's going to be some very important information released in regards to that. I've had a sneak peek at it, but the full version will be out very soon for uh, the public to look at. So, wrapping a thread around, cotton thread, through these gaps. Ah, oh, well, that's a spiral. Obviously, it's a spiral. And, well, Petri could manage four. Now, and done when he got even more. Now, firstly, if it is a, if it is a thread... Um, it we should just wrap around you know you shouldn't have any it should just go from bottom bottom to top there should be no like off oh, petri found four but i found one two three four five six seven eight well you know if it's a continuous helix it should just be there it should be evident these deep grooves are very very clear deep grooves in there so that firstly like why yeah okay we'll look at more you know so here's a basic rundown we'll do more in the in the full episode i'm just doing a teaser on the granite core broke this is a petri quote from drill, um, drill hole number seven other features appear which can only be explained by the use of fixed uh, jewel points firstly the grooves which run around it form a regular spiral with no more interruption or waviness than is necessarily produced by the variations in the component crystals, this spiral is truly symmetrical with the axis of a core. In one part, a groove can be traced with scarcely an interruption. And that's an important word. Scarcely an interruption means there are interruptions. You know, it's There are a few, but that it's interrupted. So for a length of four turns. So it's interrupt. You got it four turns, but they were interrupted. So that, you know, that the deep grooves, fixed point, there would be no interruptions, you know, and it should just be easy to find and to trace out. So again, fix uh, in part two. Again, so you know, I'm sorry, but Petri was wrong in this. You should be listening to Alfred Lucas, but more importantly, you should be listening to the Scientists Against Smith channel and looking at their papers and grabbing a drill and doing it. Okay, now you can quote all you want and you know and it makes for a great video and argument now put a question mark at the end type of thing um, but just do it and you'll find uh, the, the solutions there in materials and tools known to exist in the in the archaeological record you can say it doesn't exist in the archaeological record but well it's just not true so Lucas was correct Petri was wrong. Lucas was an was an Egyptologist. We do, he's not mentioned in this debate, and not only is he not, you know, what, the great no, the great Alfred Lucas was correct, but Matthew Flinders Petri was wrong. But the great the great Alfred Lucas, great Egyptologist, very engineer minded, very you know, blah, 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 blah. well, you know, <laughs> you know, so you can use you can prime the argument, poison the well all you want. But these are things that can be demonstrated and again very cheap easy quick to do for yourself something that is completely void in the whole lost high technology community not one single experiment example ever shown uh, but there is quite a bit of effort uh, effort goes into suppressing these people who actually do the demonstration show you how to do it you don't have to rely it's like here's how it's done go and do it for yourself if you have any doubts uh, sensorious um, beyond belief so the grooves which run ar around it form a regular spiral with no more interruption or waviness than is necessarily produced by the variations in the component crystals we'll examine that because it's just not correct uh, the spiral is truly symmetrical with the axis of the core hmm. one part of a groove can be traced with, spe with scarcely an interruption which means there are interruptions scarcely basically means a few or little but there are interruptions, so the whole point of a fixed drill, the the feed rate, just 
it's just not not true. So for a length of four turns, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's uh, Petri got four. Chris Dunn can get five. Sometimes up to eight. Uh, Petri describes it as a drunken screw. So again, like a dr it's like a drunken. What is a drunken screw? It's a uh, it, it's a nice description, but it's like saying, what's a drunken straight line? It's not a straight line. A drunken screw is not a screw in that sense. Okay, so... Uh, are, are these grooves, you know, or a constant feed rate? And again, uh, this is in the overall wider community. So before we go into what people, individuals actually said, this is just something you will see repeated uh, across the, the wider community rather than point to one particular website or channel for the moment. We do in a focus, we focus in, and this picture illustration is from Christopher Dunn's page, and this is again where this gets sourced and it gets repeated and repeated. Uh, an illustration showing a constant feed rate. Well, precision, advanced, lost high technology machinery, constant feed rate, a spiral. Uh, just again, just as a, you know, as a ruler, there. I've got a better illustration of that in a moment. Um, I don't know what constant. You know, actually, I do know what constant means. That is not constant. Uh, you know, Petri describes the waviness, but then the lost ancient high technology community you know, precision, it's precision, precision, precision. Try a drinking game. Every time they say precision, take a take a shot. And you'll have alcohol poisoning within half an hour of watching any one of these videos. Um, this is just <laughs> not precision or constant at all by any definition of the term. Precision, advanced, constant, machinery, well, <laughs> wow, like just no, not even sort of close. Not, not, uh, not any sign of advanced or precision machinery or you know, constant feed rate at all. So there's a comparison. So, however you like, if I was to, you know, I chose those two as the, um, as the base, and then, but, but if I chose the narrow one or I chose the wider one, you would have the same thing. This simply is not a constant feed rate. It is the the opposite. It is inconstant. It is fitful. Any synonym to not constant that you can find, that is a description of this particular feed rate. Uh, just sort of again tracing out the lines. It's firstly the their direction and their distance uh, so that's the image there and because of that that's why these three are over here so I've just like went down the middle and trace those lines out this is <laughs> not constant the it's the quite the opposite of that linked from the Christopher Dunn page is another page with Eric Wilson's research where him and another fellow who uh, name I forget for the moment um, they also use this method of winding a thread around, and well, no. <laughs> okay, so we zoom in, and again, like this is not only not constant, but what's what's missing from here? I'll just adjust the con. These lines, okay, so we're all, this thread, constant feed rate, helical spiral. To find the spiral, they have to ignore and miss lines. Lines which are again wavy and, and uh, obviously not precision advanced machinery with a constant feed rate. Uh, also note that the lines cross over one another. A, a helical spiral that crosses over itself is not a helical spiral. It, is, it stops being, it is, um, even a double helix will not actually, you know, it, it passes through but it doesn't cross over one another. If you if your helix crosses over it, it is not a helix. So again, this is uh, from Christopher Dunn's website, Eric Wilson's research. You can find that link. Uh, I'll put those in the description as well. And well, it's pretty evident that especially the again. Once this new information, which is going to be released either any hour or any day at the moment, I'll do a full on, full of follow up um, in regards and corp um, and bring that in with here, like actually the quotes as well. But just the broader community in comment sections. Oh, you need to do your research. You need to watch this video. And again, it's always going back to some sort of Christopher Dunn 
uh, video recently, Uncharted X has taken up the uh, torch to keep promoting this. But again, in those videos, you will find zero information. L it's just the same repetition of the same old points over and over again, and very carefully omitting this type of stuff is what I've shown you here. So again, a lot of talk, um, quotes such as, oh, the mainstream example has been, de been debunked many times, and the paper trail, and all, all this type of nonsense. So, you know, you've set the stage, you've, you've set the tone. So <laughs> here it is, you know, just like with the 80 grit, why was uh, my core not polished? Uh, the tapering, I mean, it's it's pitiful, really, really is. Uh, and at that point, they know this, and it's so important to the industry to suppress this type of information. So again, they love to throw claims at people about suppression and lies and all this type of stuff, but, uh, well, very, very uncomfortable when you're presented. I nearly bought into this because they, they speak so authoritative, um, you know, experts and all, you know, and they're, they're really good at their scripts and they're really good at that emotive angle. But what are we actually seeing? Here's another example. So, again, this spiral path crosses over itself. This is not a helix, you know, so whether you use the term hel helix or spiral in the core, this is not a spiral. It's not even a a, a double helix or triple helix in any way as well because it's uh, if, if this was any sort of constant feed rate or even as Petri quotes uh, it, it's just <laughs> it's just, there's no way around it so again Christopher Dunn's website and this is what you keep hearing a uh, constant feed rate and that it was uh, one tenth of an inch one tenth of an inch so again what, what Petri um, or actually what Dunn is claiming is that each rotation of the drill does the RPM is irrelevant, but it, literally what he says: each rotation of a drill cut down one tenth of an inch, or 2.54 millimeters. So just by counting the number of grooves, um, that's how many RP, that's how many rotations a drill supposedly would would have done. And it's just it's a remarkable um, claim to make, especially in in the absence of any 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 investigation or experimentation into this. That's the whole point. Uh, very emotive, very clever, very, it's marketing excellent. Their marketing skills are beyond um, at the high level marketing skills when it comes to actually any sort of evidence or investigation or research. Uh, subpar um, is the only way. That, that's the charitable explanation. I again believe I know what they're selling is a whole bunch of poo poo. So, okay, this is not this. There, I don't. You, you don't need a PhD in um, in in geometry, mathematics, engineering, or any. You, you that is not that. You, I'm, I'm, a, a syphilitic donkey can tell you <laughs> what this is. And so again, you just compare the actual information. Spend more than you know, sort of just flicking over it and going to the next page. And again, using all this emotive mainstream is. Blah blah blah, mainstream. Blah, 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 blah. Well, there's the information. Why aren't they showing you this? Because they can't. Because then the whole business model collapses uh, under the pressure of reality. Like you, you, reality is, you know, crashes the party. <laughs> and so we can't let reality into this argument. Again, just look. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm not fudging it. Like you can do it for yourself. You can look at. Just to highlight a little bit better, that is your constant feed rate, or your or your helix spiral. It crosses over itself. It's all over the joint. It's a mess. Um, it, yeah, so it's it's a drunken spiral in the way that a, a drunk walks a straight line. It is not a helix, and that's just again, it, if a, if it was any sort of helix, it would just the path would be evident. You, it would just follow through. That some people can find the, the spiral and some people cannot tells you that it's a, you know, it's it's up to your imagination. And the fact that also that they miss lines, so that there are, as we saw in that earlier one, it relies on avoiding lines. 
Okay, so I, I, it's just no, nah, it's done. It's finished, and 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 the the death, the final nail in his coffin is going to be delivered very soon, um, in in this regard. But I just want to point out the, yeah, like how how can they not like see this? This this is from the people who are promoting it. This is their pictures. But in the you know the detailed study, um, document full scale documentaries, for instance, well that's, this is this is lacking. This is just not in there. This is not a spot. That is not that, and it is because it crosses over itself, and they have to skip lines to get the thread to fit in there. It is just not a just not a helix. And we'll, again, some it's not constant. It's inconstant. It's fitful. Helical spiral with a constant feed rate that could only be made by precision advanced machinery. Well, you keep using those words. I do not think they mean what you think they mean. And that's, that, this deserves to be mocked, really, um, especially because it's a profit industry as well. So it's not just, again, picking on some uh, sort of random little guy, you know, doing... The, these are people charging thousands of dollars selling books and disparaging other people at the same time as well. So, you know, they open them to it. Here's another image of uh, Core 7. Let's see again a little bit closer. Again, I'm, I'm tracing out those lines, so you can sort of pause and go back. I'm not fiddling with this. It's, uh, I'm actually being kind because I just used a straight line and a few different points. So if you look at it more accurately, it's this is just way, way off. Uh, here's one example of a core, and I've just used, again, chalk to highlight it. So there you can see, traced out those lines, the horizontal top of the block, and how just by, again, I've done plenty of experiments with this now, and I, this is a very early core, that's why it's a little bit wobbly, I've improved later, and I've got more examples to, uh, to show, and I'll do that in the full length version of this, just waiting on the release of that info. Um, I could, well, look at those lines, they, they sort of, they're very, very close to matching up with a, with a thread, with a helix, so therefore uh, I have a con I have a, a feed rate defined by the line, by the distance between the lines, and that feed rate creates a spiral. No, it doesn't. I know it doesn't because I drilled it. And uh, firstly, the feed rate is about um, about ten. Uh, so depending on the the block, it's about between five to ten minutes per millimeter. And my RPM is about 300 RPM. So 300 RPM um, times five minutes. Uh, and then for the whole length, we're talking tens of thousands of revolutions to do these cores. That's how it's created. And, and this is missing. If any experimentation was done, rather than the amount of hours in marketing and traveling and, uh, and, and writing and just copy pasting Wikipedia into into books, Mr. Foster, you know, like um there it is. Okay. So again looking at those lines and comparing it to like core seven. And now if I was to trace out those lines a little bit better and I'll I'll show you clearer graphics next time. But what we have is uh the apparent spiral of core seven, the same uh, some lines are closer, some lines are more distant, sometimes they angle. Uh, so, for instance, that part would have that bend if I was to follow it. So, for instance, just like that piece there would match sort of that piece there. So, if I was to go through it, I, every line here I can find in all my uh, cores are uh, done by that. So, stop trying to make the helical spiral with a constant feed rate happen. It's not going to happen. And core 7, and then I'll chuck on a little bit at the end, but... Uh, more information. I've been patiently waiting for it. It's going to be at any moment, and I can do a, a full-length version and just really just final nail in the coffin in regards to this uh, core seven. One more would also be the mineral. So why the, the feldspar and quartz are cut in such a way, and why the mica is not in there? Well, you know, mica has, uh, as I say, perfect cleavage. Um, and I'll put that in there too. But okay. And we'll just end with a small piece, and um, this is one sample, and I'm going to do more, and I'll do, I'll do them in red granite as well, just to be clear. This is in black granite, but this is over. Um, of course, it, they won't show you this, because there are very profitable tours coming later this year, and next year, and next year as well. They're going to keep 
pushing and pushing and pushing what they know to be untrue. Well, you know, that's, there's a word for that for making profit off what you know to be untrue and it begins with F and it ends with D and you could add a, uh, another word onto, onto that but that begins with F. Alright, so not the official part four but enough to get um, get the ball ro rolling. Alright, cheers.